We're back. We're back, so it's getting regular. It's, been a, it's been a roaring success so far. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit um, premature, isn't it? Mm. Well, we've watched it. Well, what's is this? It, is this a bit of chip on the table? <sighs> no. This is good. Oh, yeah. Getting regular. What were you just put out of your mouth? What have you done, your dick? You didn't eat some out of the. <laughs> what did you do? Did you find something on the table and put it in your mouth? Continue. What's your philosophy for um, saying yes to work or not? Um, this is the God's honest truth, because you think I'm a bit of a whore, don't you? <laughs> well, you never do. said no to anything, you lying You're fucking twat. Your philosophy for saying yes is going, what is it? Yes. No, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Do you know what it is? No, do you know what it is? I don't want to Wait, there's think... a cost cutter needs opening in Murphy Tidfill. <laughs> 300 quid on in there. I'll see Mustang Sally twice. <laughs> no, once, you fucker. It's not true. I'm not a whore. But do you know what as well is? I, I'll do something. If I fancy doing it, I'll do it. I'm not going to give a shit what people think. And, and at the same time, I don't know how long this is going to last. So you don't want to say no to too many things. And then before you know it, fuck all comes in and you're going, uh, is, that, is that job still going? Can I? Yeah. You know, it's true, man. It's hard. It's, this job's tough because you're never in control of it. <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, I have... I've sort of come round to... I wouldn't go so far as to come around to your way of thinking, but I've certainly, I used to be like, fucking Will does anything. He doesn't give a shit. He doesn't give a fuck. No, <laughs> the I'm, nicest possible I'm trying way. To manage this up. He goes to the opening of a fucking fridge door. I'm not saying that. It sounds disrespectful. It's not meant to be, but you are, your philosophy largely has been to be like, life short, take a drink. It's like Joanna Lumley famously said, she's never turned down anything because she never knows when the offers will stop coming, right? That's true. And I've always felt like you're the same, whereas I've always bit. been a bit like, oh, well, you know, I'm really, I hope that that's like about credibility or whatever. And I don't actually think that's particularly stood me in any better stead than it has you. I don't, I don't feel like there's been a huge difference, right? What I do is tend to listen to the people that you pay to listen to. It's like your agent. If your agent says, trust me, because there is stuff that I've gone, why, what, you don't want me to do that? No. And I go, okay. What name one? What have you turned out? <laughs> well, like doing the jungle. Oh. Or strictly. Or would you ever do the jungle? No. Would but you? no, I say no, but I tell you what, you'd know when I'm doing it, because I'll be fucking skinned. You'll say, Will's had a bad few years, he's on the jungle, he's got crocodile dick in his mouth. <laughs> it's true. I'm telling you now, you'll go, ooh, he's had a bad few years. <laughs> it's like out of that or oh, Will got drunk at the zoo again. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Do you remember bumping into me and my missus? You've only met her once, and you met her on the train going up to Manchester. Yes. Yes. We were sitting in... <laughs> I know what you're going to say. <laughs> I don't mind you so dodgy. I'm not dodgy. What's dodgy about it? We were sitting <laughs> in the normal economy seats, me and my missus on the train up to Manchester, <laughs> like this. You came through and you're yeah. like, all right, mate. <laughs> like, all right, mate, what are you doing? Oh, we're just popping down to the buffet car. Why are you going out to the buffet car? Food in first class is shit. It's like, yeah, no, they why are you in first class? You went, no, I've got an economy ticket, but I'm just <laughs> in there keeping an eye out for the train car. No, I just play stupid. If they come round, I go, oh, uh, and usually they don't. Do you find that you get away with playing stupid a lot? Quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> it's one of my best traits. <laughs> I learned it from Gaz. Oh, so, so me and my missus were sitting there like this. <laughs> and, and, and she was like, who is that? Because as you know, oh, you know really? she's, she's American. She's like, who's that guy? And who's like, that? I said, that's like, <laughs> how dare she? <laughs> I said, that's Will, me and him. We will do two rounds. Oh my God, is that him? Oh my God. Because she's seen a couple of clips. She said, oh my God, yeah. And she said, he's very handsome, isn't he? And I was like, um, I just made that bit up just for you. Um, and she's like, so wait, he's just he's just hiding in first class, oh, just I, getting I'm away with it. Sight. And I and I said to her, I was just going, that is Will all over. And I said, you know, he doesn't, you know, Will's that's him. He's just he's out. He's he's always after an edge. He doesn't give a fuck. And she was totally on your. She was like. Fuck it, get what you can, take what you can, that's yeah, great. Man. And she said, so why is he going up north? I said, well, his family lives up north, but he won't, he won't be that. If he was going to see his family, he'd probably be like driving up with his, with his wife and kids. He'll be going up for some bullshit scam that he's trying to pull. He'll be opening... I wasn't He'll be opening one. an envelope for money somewhere, right? And you came back from the buffet car and went, what are you going to Manchester for? And you went, hey, I'm opening a bathroom showroom. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they'll give me a free bathroom. <laughs> You're such a cheap cunt. Kitchens and bathrooms and doors. Uh, and Big doors. triple threat. 
<laughs> this is, um, have you ever been for a casting? Um, and not got it, or has, has ever been for a <laughs> yeah, casting? Yeah, almost always. <laughs> no, but when, when you've been in the room and it, anything's gone wrong, or has there ever been a point where you've, you know, you've, you've left thinking, well, that was a waste of time? Well, first of all, every single time, and not, there's not many of them, but every single time I've walked out going, I killed it. <laughs> <laughs> I killed it. <laughs> I've, I've run my agent. There's been two times I've run my <laughs> agent and I've, gone, and I've gone, and they're like, hi, Ralph, how'd it go? And I'm like, listen, Clear the decks. <laughs> I'm cancelling my holiday. They, are got, they, they have to offer it to me. They practically beg me to do it in the room. Then t- a week goes past, two weeks goes past, three weeks and goes past. Thought, uh, yeah, they've yeah. not got back to us. I was like, well, they're not going to, are they? <laughs> they've so they've cast Russell Tovey again. It's so true. It's so true. Have you, you've got people, haven't you, that you go up for for parts. Who's yours? You Mine's Russell Tovey. The trouble with mine is they're brilliant, and that makes it even worse, because if, if I thought they were rubbish, at least I could go, he's rubbish, but they're brilliant, and that really Mine's annoys me. Mine's Warren Brown. It's good, Warren, so you know what I mean? I don't, well, that's what I mean. I don't I, begrudge it, it, it It's just that... That's what I mean. If they're good, you can't... So mine have changed over time. It's, it's like the, the political answers, the, the acting landscape has changed. In 2001, like, two, um, my kind of rival, I was like, oh, I am up for this, but he's up for it. And it was... Uh, I think he's retired now. You won't have heard of him, but he's called James McAvoy. Oh, yeah. And I, I, he didn't work after Dreamless. No, no. Yeah, fuck off. Couldn't, I haven't seen him in anything. <laughs> in no TV at all. Yeah. No, yeah. So, so, me, so me and James were kind of... Can you believe he was in him. Shameless? Uh, he was in um, Early Doors as well. Yeah, Great man. But Great actor. he's amazing. He's brilliant. And you kind of like, well, all right. So funnily enough, he's not a rival of mine anymore. Then, yeah. a couple of years go past, and then suddenly, some young guy called Rafe Spall arrives, and he's a rival for everything. Right. He's not my rival anymore. No. He's massive in Hollywood too. I'm like, so you need to get in the outside. Am I just the proving ground You've for people to just get out of the inside lane, Ralph? People <laughs> yeah. are just fucking overtaking yeah, you. No shit. No shit. I was but, up um, for. I tell you, this is a. This is a. Um, I went up for the Game of Thrones, right? Game of Thrones. I hadn't seen. I couldn't even get an audition for Game. Of, I didn't even get seen for. I'm the only northern in the world who never got seen for Game of Thrones. You'd have, you, yeah, you could have easily been a White Walker. I no, could have been no anything. fucking makeup. Oh, they're one of them zombies things. Yeah, yeah. yeah perfect. Just dead. Your yeah. beak. Just dead. You've got that dead look Cracking, right yeah. off. I, I, I would have done that. Dead malnutrition look. You've don't, got that pale as fuck. Don't even put any makeup on me. Just Vain. pay me and one, walk me in front of the camera. Yeah. But I went up for one, um, and it was for the one of the wildling parts. And, and um, I go in, and my agent says, "Game of Thrones," and I was like, "It's fucking massive." <laughs> so, um, so I said, "So you said you've got a week." I don't know why you think you can put on loads of muscle in the week, but they said you're playing against a guy who's big, so they're looking for a, you know, you've got to be big and strong and all that, so worked out like mad. And obviously didn't put much on, but I wore a big fucking jumper, so I looked big. I wore, I wore, I wore like boots, so I looked taller, because I'm only 5'11", but then boots, six foot one, whatever, with fucking high heels. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what were you wearing? It just, anyway, I looked bigger. I told, this is the point. So I go in, I've huh. learnt the script, and a lot of it, I'm half, I'm sort of half he- eating something and being audible to this person and and they want you to do the whole physical thing so it's I mean as an actor you, it's so you've got to leave your inhibitions at the door because you've got to be willing to basically do everything in that room <laughs> so the camera's set and he goes so uh, when you're ready and then so I went okay so I'm having to pretend like we're sat around the fire and I'm eating this thing and I'm throwing my I'm, I'm in the full mode of it throwing it all up to the camera to where he is doing it um, and, I, and I'd give it the full beans and I'd go up to the camera and I'd come and show me presents and I give it all full beans, full everything. Uh, he goes, okay, we're thinking of going for a small, slight guy now. What? Absolutely. Why didn't they call me? Right, <laughs> just cut me bollocks off and fed them to me in the room. <laughs> I've just given everything I can in that room. What and and do you know what? I've worked for a week on the script. So, so in the they, gym, they knew knackered. this before I come in. So they've obviously said, do you know what? This character could be like a skinny Weasley kind of guy. So I've gone in and they've changed the demographic of it and not told me, but let me He's get so. me knob out right in front of everyone. And do you know what I mean? And Wait, just, was that in the script? Or? No, I just thought it might <laughs> get me the job. Right. I also auditioned for um, uh, Bilbo Baggins. Did you? Knowing that they wanted to cast Martin Freeman. That, that, that's what I love about our industry. One phone call can change your life. Everything. Everything one changes phone call, in one phone tomorrow, call. today, whenever yeah. you can go. Oh, by the way, they want to see you for this. We have to do so much hustling, so much hustling, and 
you know, it might work and you might get a bit of this and it might get a bit of that. And then one phone call just changes. Have you ever kissed a man on telly? Gay role? Oh, yeah, gay. yeah, I'm all Have over Have you played it. a gay role? Uh, Have you ever done a gay role? No, I kissed a man on stage. Kissed a man on the stage. First gay role. Got, got right into it. Yeah. I did it with Vincent Regan. It was a, ser um, a series um, called The Street. Jim oh, yeah. McGovern. oh, the Jimmy McGovern thing. I saw it. You were brilliant in that. I forgot you were in that. But there was a scene. The reason why I'm telling you this uh, is because it was the first time I played a gay a gay role, and it was me and uh, Vincent Regan, and he never played a gay role, and um, and he, he does big movies, you know. He's done he's done well. So we were doing uh, this scene, and and the director Terry McDonough is uh, is a, is a gay man, fantastic director, amazing. Directed uh, Breaking Bad and all sorts. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he's he's there, and he's a no nonsense director. He'll go. What was that with shit? Come on, do it again. He's that kind, and I like that. Some actors can't deal with that. I'd rather him tell me that than go, um, maybe, no, just tell me what I did and let's give it. So I've got the scene where me and Vincent have got to get it on. We've got to get, I've got to get in bed with him and put it on him. I'm playing the gay guy. He, I see something in him, he's married, and I've got to, you know, I, we're sharing a room with builders. We're, we're builders on a building site. So That's I get out of bed, I'm naked, and the camera's behind me. So this is me, so I step out, and then the camera's like a close-up of my ass. And then I approach um, Vincent in bed and I go to kiss him. So the director goes, action! And I step out, step across, look at him, so the camera's behind, and I walk towards him and he goes, cut! I went, what's up with that? He said, your ass look nervous. I said, what? He said, your ass look nervous. You won't be nervous, you're gay. You've done this loads of times. I said, how was my ass? He went, he said, it was relaxed. And when you set off, it went, I bet it did as Because well. my heart was going, here we go. <laughs> my body, my body isn't your, a gay man. My body ass, went, what are you fucking doing? Your ass was going, no, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no. So, so yeah, so my body reacted naturally, so I couldn't stop it. So he knew from behind that my ass wasn't in it. And <laughs> it fucking <laughs> did. <laughs> and it went nervous. Have I you ever been um, full frontal in a, in a show or a TV um, show? I don't think so. so. Have you not? Have you got your cock out? Oh yeah, it's out there, it's out there. You've done more theatre, I've never done theatre. No, no, I'm f in a film. Oh. It's out there. Is, is it out there? Get on Google, ladies and gentlemen. What is it out there? Let's, let's tell the people at home to go out there with the tape measure. It's What's a, it on? It's a, Did you get a bit of blood in it? It depends Did what you swing size it around the screen is. Tell the fucking truth. Okay, so. Tell the truth! So it was a small British film. Did you shake British it around film. before Me you went Marie on? Duff, um, Did you get Shameless. a bit of blood in it? I'm trying to tell you. Answer the fucking question. You know you did. So I'm trying to tell you. Not only did I get a bit of blood in it. <laughs> you want to send me on? <laughs> no, no, that's bad. That's bad. That's, that's, that's bad on set. That's the terrifying thing because you're like, look, we all know that there's flaccid and flaccid. And all flaccid aren't made equal. <laughs> no one wants to. No one wants to go to sleep on set. No one wants to walk out and go, yeah, there's no blood in it. That's why it's stuck to me fucking leg. <laughs> Nobody wants <laughs> curled that. up like a little puppy asleep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like no, just you... bear with me. Yeah. You, want um, it, you want it open to options when it's swinging naturally. You just, you just like, it doesn't, I don't want it to be like hard, but I just want it to be like. Yeah, lazy. All right. Yeah. yeah. Like I just, just woke up from a long sleep. Oh, just, I just had a lovely nap, right? That's yeah. basically what I want. Yeah. And, um, yeah. and the way I was like, so it was, you know, I was going to be full front or walking down a corridor and I'll turn over. Okay. Hang on. Sp Before you start, did you shave a bit of your pews back so you got an extra inch? Absolutely. Are exactly. you insane? It's the oldest trick in the book. Are you insane? <laughs> yeah, just you, the top you told me about that years ago and I was like, no, mate, you, like, no, like because I trimmed my pubes, you went, why are you doing that? Like like young dickheads, like, you were like, Yeah, yeah, I trimmed my pubes, gives you an extra inch, and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, then you was, was in the toilet. Like, <clears throat> like, no, and then about <laughs> You don't know this. You you you're fucking not look like Leo saying with a big nose. Probably a small nose, actually. They didn't tell the truth. Big fucking you know, curly wig and you, a bit of a nodule sticking out. You don't know this. <laughs> but we had the conversation again. It was a running thing of going, why do you trim your Because you used to, I don't know if you still do, but you used to Have trim a, line, a, yeah. a really neat little line down oh, to a really... It's not there anymore. <laughs> to a really... Still, yeah. to a, we used to, have a, I used to have a little line, yeah. To a really, like, trimmed bush, right? Yeah, but and a lot I, of top-off scenes was gas, didn't and it? And I was like... I was like, mate, that is an embarrassment because you used to go to two sunbeds a week as well. well yeah, so vain. Gaz. So, so I was. So we kept on having this conversation, and then there was one day on two pints on on set, and I was like, mate, oh, and we were taking the piss out of each other, and you went, you don't understand. 
Like you'd had enough of it, and you don't fucking understand. Like seriously, you look down, you've trimmed it up. It's like an optical illusion. You've got a full extra inch, and I'm like, behave. That night, I'm like, see you later. Got my car drove. I went straight to Argos. Bought some clippers. <laughs> went to the Daresbury Hotel in Runcorn. I was like, ah, making sure no one was in the corridor because I didn't want them to hear. I would rather they thought I was using them as a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> the clippers. I'm like, ah. <laughs> ah, fuck. I've never done it before. <laughs> Nicking myself all over the gaff. And then I just had like... This patchy, it looked like it had been burned off with acid because I didn't know, what, didn't know what I was doing. Someone had left the bleach in too long. But yeah, that was... Back to the story. You walk up the corridor. Day that changed my life. You walk up the corridor. So yeah, I was all, frontal. So I was all trimmed up. So anyway, so... Are you with a girl? So they... Yeah, I'm Paint walking, the picture. And, well, so she's in the bedroom and I come out the bathroom and I just walk down the corridor, mm. full on, cock out, fully naked, walk up and then right. turn into the bedroom. And... Um, <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, they, they, they go, uh, okay, turn over. Uh, I'm like, right, so there's about 10 seconds before they say action. <laughs> and I was like, and I was going, what do I do? Because I, I was going, if you do that, you can't get any blood in it. That's mortifying. I want to walk out and go, oi, oi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's the worst thing. But you want a little bit of, you know, dangle in it. Yeah. And so I just fully he helicoptered it. Um, <laughs> Took it by the end and helicoptered it. And they're like, are you all right, Ralph? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just about to take off. I'm coming. <laughs> I mean, I'm, not, I'm just, I'm ready. And they're like, they go, speed. And I go, speed. Speed, speed uh, fucking And they go, action. And I go, I go, <laughs> walk out, dead unnatural. Shrinking in shots. <laughs> yeah, going, I've got to get <laughs> got to, get to the end of the corridor. Let me get to the real length. And I, um, and then, uh, yeah, and then and so we, we did the shot and whatever. And then it was on in cinema, it's like selected cinemas, and I went to watch it in the cinema with my younger brother and his missus. Oh, no, IMAX, bigger. And I, I looked at it, and I'll tell, tell you something. <laughs> I'll tell you something. When it's, when it's blown up to a giant screen, and it's literally on the screen about three feet long, it makes you feel very good about oh, yourself. Good, good. I, I was like, ah. That's me! Yeah. What's the worst audition you've ever had? That's impossible to say. There's been a couple where... See, I, did, I, don't think, I actually got the audition, uh, a film called um, Viking Destiny. I went in and um, I, I got the, the agent sent me the scenes through and I clicked on it and learned it. I thought, that's a piece of piss. A couple of, couple of, like, couple of pages, learned it. And then on the way in the room, there's another email attachment that I hadn't opened. Oh. And it was four pages of dialogue. Oh. And I was outside the fucking door. And I walked in and I said, hey, and I did my one scene, knew it all, brilliant. They went, brilliant. On to the next one, I went, eh, there's a problem here. Did I've you only tell just him? noticed, yeah. I said, I've literally just noticed, it's my fault. They went, oh, it's okay, we'll just, we'll just do it now. And that's when all my fears, and, and it just took me back to when I was at school, and anyone asked me to stand up and read something in school, because I've never been confident oh, really? with it. really? So I just thought. That's actually the most here, endearing thing I've ever heard you here say. Here we go. Um, and then I was awful. <laughs> Awful. And it was just, I was going, <laughs> do you know, like, trying to laugh it off and going, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Why have I said that? It's not even in the script. Oh. <laughs> it was awful. It was oh, like, listening to you cringe. say that is painful. And then, and then they went, don't worry, don't worry, we've seen enough, don't worry. And then I'm thinking they're just trying to get me out of the room to get to the next oh, one. Oh, God, I'll be back again. I ended up getting the job. Um, I had to go and do sword training and I fucking stabbed the bloke in the sword training, so I really didn't do me very well. They really wanted you, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, but he you said, go for him. You couldn't read the sword, script. You killed sword someone. training, he said, you look like you're not trying to go for him. Um, it was just casting, you had to do a sword casting as well for the people they wanted. And they said, can you go for him with the sword? So I said, I know, but you know, they said, but you, he'll get out of your way. He fucking didn't. I stabbed the bastard right in the fucking leg. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, I went for him. I went, what? I stabbed him in the leg. It was a wooden sword, but fucking got him. And then I thought, I went, oh shit, you say, so no, no, it's mine, it's his fault. got out of the way and I thought, I've got the dialogue wrong and I've stabbed the bloke in the, the sword audition. This is one that's not going to go my no. way. But like you said, how many times have you think you've nailed it and you've not got it? That one I thought I fucked it and I got it. Hey, oh, hey, death in paradise. I know. We haven't spoken about that. How was oh. that? It's fucking mint. You I was enjoy working it? for five months in the Caribbean. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I loved it. It was amazing. Because, I mean, how do you feel now? Because you've been, I mean, not on primetime TV for a while, it's fair to say. This is also the first lead I've ever done. Is it? Yeah, I, I never even really realised that until I was doing it. 
And, um, you enjoy it, though, being the, 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 being the front pressure. You know me. What do you think? No, anybody, fucking though. I think anybody. It. If you don't embrace that, you're in the wrong job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fucking love. What a, what a treat. Yeah. And I've never given a shit about that kind of thing, because I'm not like... I've got a plenty of ego, but not in that way. But no. day one, I arrive, handed the course sheet, I look, and it's like, number one, Ralph Litton. And I was like, just for a moment, I was like, huh. You're just, going to struggle just now when nice you get one. to number five again. I'm going to be livid. You'll be like, I think you've got the numbers wrong. Who's this wrong James here. McAvoy? <laughs> I think you've got the numbers wrong here. The yeah, exactly. five looks like a, the one yeah, looks like exactly. a five. What's this? Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, big nose Ralph boy. Happy birthday, pal. Thanks, mate. Finish the fucking song. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Hey, come on. Bring Bring it. It, mate. Thanks, mate. Well, it's your 40th 40. soon, isn't it? 40. Well, this week it was inside number nine last night, Death in Paradise on Thursday, and then 40 on Saturday. Congratulations. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I, I'm sort of. Do you know what it is? I don't feel like. Uh, I don't feel like I've earned 40. Right. That's what it is. That's what it is. I don't feel like I've earned it. Like, 40 is such a milestone. And all I've done is just sort of potted around and, and just, like, had fun. And now I'm like, wait, I'm 40? I wasn't supposed to be here yet. Yeah, because you're not married with children. Yeah, no shit. That's why I that's was why quite I was happy, because so... I think, well, I've, I'm married I've with done kids. It. I'm done now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That's, yeah, I suppose that is. It is. Thank you. This is really touching. There was a, do you know what? There's a random question I wanted to ask you. Yeah, go on. And it's random. But it was because last time I was thinking about it, I was thinking, and it, it, this is random. Do you believe in aliens? <laughs> <laughs> because I watch all this shit all the time, and it's like my guilty pleasure. I like watching all these documentaries, thinking we're going to get definitive proof, and we never do. It's a bit like watching Most Haunted. You know, like you think they've been everywhere, and no one's got any proper proof, but. I still watch it. So, what's your philosophy on aliens? Well, I, I think like it's a bit intelligent different. aliens, not fucking some shit spider we find floating about in space. Oh, you're, you're not counting like no. microbes in. No, fuck them. In no, I want, I want to see some fucker with a big green ass, massive head. <laughs> massive, 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 big bulbous head. Well, I'm just checking it out. There's an, there's an equation in. Yeah, the Drake equation. You know that? Know about the Drake equation? If, no. So, it's not just a case of like. Belief or not belief, there, there is a scientific equation that. Uh, Hang on, what? <laughs> there's a scientific equation for the probability of there being um, You're alien life. Far alien too life. intelligent for my liking <laughs> at times. It's well, it's, right on my it's nerves. Called, I, I did have to look it up. I couldn't remember it, but it's called the Drake equation, and it's it's something like um, uh, it's number of because there's only certain as we as we understand it, there's only certain criteria that can support life, advanced life. Like there has to be water. Uh, on a planet, but liquid water as well. So not, not ice and not steam, but it has to be water that's able to be liquid right. because it facilitates so many different chemical reactions, right? So that's one. That has to, it has to be, so it has to be a sun that's big enough to warm a planet, but not too big to burn it. Mm. A planet that's far enough away from a, a sun. So if you times that equation by that factor, by distance from this and by then magnetic and all this shit, and if the, you arrive at a, a probability out of, I think out of 100 of there being alien life. And the only problem is, I can't remember what the answer to the fucking equation just is. just fucking killed all of our viewers <laughs> and listeners. They, I don't know. They thought, I'm sitting through this boring shit for an answer, <laughs> and you couldn't even give them the fucking answer. I don't know, I think I've just robbed all of Dar O'Brien's and Brian Cox's. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's like, that's literally like getting right to the vinegar stroke and stopping. <laughs> turning, turning the computer off, <laughs> deleting exactly. your history. Exactly, what's the point? <laughs> All right, let me give you, let me give you a more... Don't uh, fucking make it up. No, let me give... Well, I don't know it was your opinion. No, I'm, no, I'm invested. My unscientific, uh, in my heart of hearts... What, what do you think? What I like to believe is I feel like there's so many, there's so many things out there. So many galaxies, they're mine planets. That there has to be. That's right. what I think. Not my thing. But there is an equation. I think we're the aliens. This is what I think. <laughs> oh, let me strap in. <laughs> this is what wait. I think. <laughs> wait a <laughs> second. Get my parachute on just in this case. Is, just in is, case this gets this a bit bonkers. Is, this is after a couple of whiskeys. What I came up with. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Was it whiskeys? <laughs> Uh, and a couple of spliffs. All right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. No, what I came up with. Is there an eject with... button on this seat? Listen, what I came up with. I was watching this thing. And there's so many, there's so many, there's so much proof, right, in hieroglyphics and all that of 
People are saying they always worship people coming from the, the space people, or the star people, they call them. Right. And because of what happened to Earth when there was obviously um, a big freeze, a big meteorite hit the Earth, killed the dinosaurs and all that stuff, what I'm saying is they find, they've found what, like stations, platforms of stations that could have been where people have left. So I think what it was is we knew oh, there's a higher intelligence form of us back in the day before all this shit happened, we were hyper-intelligent. So we fucked off, right? Waited, <laughs> don't laugh. We, we as, a, as a race, fucked off, because we were hyper-intelligent. And then we had to start again, so we had to wait till we was intelligent enough to embrace it. And then we came back to teach ourselves, humans, how to do things like the pyramids and why things are angled in the same way, and why we can, you know, there's so many different things that are angled in a certain way that you can't explain. Uh, so many ports around the earth that all connect up. Um, and I think we left and we came back to teach ourselves where we are now. And that's why we are so, the technology is speeding up so quick is because I think it's us visiting ourselves when people say they see things and that's, well, I, that's my philosophy. Well, I, well, I'm certainly convinced. <laughs> Eject! Where's the ejector button on the seat? Listen, why didn't one of the fucking intelligent fuckers who was here before put an ejector on the seat? <laughs> fucking Bluetooth! Think about it 40 <laughs> years ago. 40 years ago we had CFAX. Now we got Bluetooth. Nothing happens that quick. We need microwave ovens and shit. Selling you now. It's aliens. Oh, oh, we have dear. aliens. Oh, and they're, they're teaching us shit. And it's you know, us, we're the aliens. Do you know back. L. Ron Hubbard? I thought you'd go, I quite like that, you took the piss out of me. <laughs> do you know L. Ron Hubbard no. uh, said, the founder of Scientology said, the only, the only way to be truly rich is to start your own religion. I think you're onto something there. <laughs> but that's true, what he said. <laughs> yes, I know. We, we, I we, are, we are the sky people. Yeah. And cake's nice. I had a little bit. Is it, also, is it also, also laced with fucking magic mushrooms? Because that's where I think <laughs> I just... <laughs> I like that shit. I like, I quite like that philosophy. Uh, I, have you ever I, seen an alien? I like it. Um, have you ever seen a spaceship? No. And, and neither have you. I have fucking seen one. I mean, you haven't. I've seen one. Have you ever seen a ghost? No, but my sister has. No, she hasn't. She fucking has. She hasn't. She has. I assure you she hasn't. Sat on a fireplace. It wasn't. It fucking was. <laughs> no, it a little boy with his legs crossed. Wasn't. It was. Waved at her. No, it didn't. It fucking did. That's what she said. She lied. She did. My mum seen one as well. No, she hasn't. She did. She was terrified. She woke up and there was a nun next to her with her aunt were like praying. She shit herself. No. She was terrified. I didn't go in the room after that. No, your mum's never seen a ghost. She, she was, was asleep. She no. woke up and there's a woman there like that praying. No, she she was... turned over, she said. She was like scared, looking at my dad. She turned back and she didn't want to turn back. She was frozen. No. And when she turned back, she'd gone. Your mum got drunk and got fingered by a nun. Oi! And, and it, no, she was just trying no to. No nun his name. She was just trying, trying, trying to cover it up. We saw one. No, no, you didn't. Shut up. A, what, a nun? No, an, an, an alien. No, I'll say <laughs> UFO. Fucking no. alien. Oh, my God. Fuck off. This is taking a real turn. Go on. Listen, it's the fucking truth, this. Mm. We're flying on a plane, obviously. <laughs> and me, me and Michelle and Jaden, and, and we were going through some proper shit turbulence, right? Audible turbulence. Right? And then out the window, it was, it was like, um, do you know you say, like a sonic boom kind of thing when it goes like, like it's like um, when a plane goes through the sonic boom and you can see the, yeah. the circle behind it. That, and there was um, a UFO for a second oh, yeah. and it stopped and it went off. That's how quick it was. And I saw the back end of it. I just saw the, like, the fart bit, you know, the cloud bit. But Jaden and Michelle saw the actual thing. Michelle went to Jaden, did you see that? And he went, oh, I can't believe it. And, and they saw it. So you didn't see it? I saw the back end of it. Okay. I, saw the, I saw it's Chad. You saw, a, <laughs> you saw a cloud, is what you said. No, I didn't see a cloud. <laughs> I saw the after effect of what they'd seen. I like to believe there's something. I, that I agree with. Because, you know, it'd be sad if, if that's what, if all we are is this. Yeah. It's well, been, it's been good seeing you again, pal. Cheers. Let's, let's go. I'll take my cake.